All right, hello, welcome back to 999. Man, it feels like it's been a bit since I've played this. Probably because we, like, when Hitarashi came out, kind of rushed, uh, it was a little awkward since it came out on a Friday and stuff, so, um, yeah, I'll definitely space it better. Because, <laughs> yeah, it's been, like, it's almost been, like, a week since I played this. This this game does require some brain power, so pr probably should have some shorter intervals before playing this again. Um, but, yeah, last time um, we found a corpse, you know. It seems to be Snake. It doesn't have to be, you know. If if this was my first rodeo, I would say I'd probably believe it to be Snake more. But I've I've played a couple of things where uh, corpses, you know, people play with some corpses to make it appear um, as a certain person when it's not. Um, I think the biggest part of this is how. Um, destroyed this corpses like i'm pretty sure the main identifier we're using is the fact that it has snake's clothes like even the even the number wristband thing is broken so <laughs> yeah i don't know um i don't believe it but it's possible you know two culprits at least two culprits here who could it be it's a hard one if Snake's alive, then it should easily be... S no, but then you need three people. So you'd actually need three people if you were... Unless... Unless we still don't... I still don't know if we can use a corpse's wristband. <laughs> uh, if I knew that answer, then it'd be much easier to uh, theorize. But you know what? We'll continue going. We also explored uh, downstairs. I think the sixth number door was there. And uh, Santa and Lotus found, I believe, number one. So now we could do number one with Lotus in June. I haven't really thought of the number sit slot, but time's a ticking. We gotta decide now. So let's just get into this. I don't know about Ace. Like he's he's really against um, us suspecting one another, which is like good but it also feels like he might just be deflecting <laughs> a little bit but i'm not sure ace's words put their feet to moving they all knew they were where they were going oh right. i forgot we have a we also have another door key from that right Maybe you and June should check it out for... Why am I reading? <laughs> Alright. Pair up. It sat bolted the, to the wall near the stairs that led to the casino and kitchen between the two elevators. Hmm. So they found this in the three door. Junpei slid the card through the reader. The light on the reader turned green and made a tiny electronic noise. How are we looking on the flowchart, by the way? I'm nervous. You know, no resin needed. We can... If we're taking the downward slope, just hit us with it. I'm pretty sure this ending is gonna be we don't have enough people for the... ninth door or something, or a door, and then we're just bricked. I'm nervous, though. Let's be a... I kinda wanna be a straight shooter and just go... Zoom! And at this, because this seems like the best ending. Apparently there is a hidden one, which is the true one. Let's get an ending where we survive. I think that's that should be our goal for our first playthrough. Let's get one where we actually survive. Hmm. Oh, 
Another elevator system. Looking good. Once it had been checked for water, Jinpei and Jun stepped into the elevator. Mm. Bottom. I wonder if that's lower than E deck. Jinpei hit the bottom button. The door closed. Slowly they be <coughs> they began to move downward. They stepped off and saw that the hallway to their right ended somewhere between 20 and 25 feet from them. The hallway in front of them was a dead end. It's not a regular dead, but it's but not a regular dead end. Two. Oh no. We have three doors then, and we can only go into two of them at once, like two teams. It's a little spicy. Yeah, so we have one, two, and six. That was five and four. And there's three, seven, eight. Yeah, okay. So it is six. You feel like the ninth door would be like would be some I mean it should be located through all of them hopefully but like sits or sits or two since they're both at the bottom. And you need at least like two teams to meet up at it, right? To make the nine. I don't know about the one on the A deck though. Okay. And now door stood in front of Junpei. No, door two. Yep. Ninth door. Despite himself, Jinpei felt it. Despite himself, Jinpei felt excited. What does that even mean? There was something about that excitement that frightened him as well. Still need to trim somebody. We only have. Actually, we have seven people. So we need to trim two people. It's a little rough. It's also a perfect number for them to take me and June out of the party. If they can even make it. Probably not. There's no way they can make it without me and June, right? No, they only have two. <laughs> oh wait, I missed three. Well, 23 still isn't enough. So at least that's not going to be an option. He did his best to put it from his mind and head it back to see that with June. I guess the real question is, can we make nine twice with two people? Or, or can they enter? I feel like you can enter again, right? Because we entered. We were going to enter through the third door again with everyone before uh, Seven pointed out that he kept the blank door open. God, I don't remember. <laughs> the pieces of paper they folded up lay on the ground next to Junpei's legs. Everyone had written on, pa on paper pulled from Junpei's notebook in an effort to pull together a blind vote. Interesting. <laughs> 
Bro, what if someone snaked someone, but that doesn't really make sense, because there'd just be two of them. And then the person who didn't have the name would be revealed, so yeah, that doesn't make sense. I wonder why they're voting like this. I guess just to not... Just to go by numbers, since everyone should be a team. But, I don't know. It feels weird. Why had they decided to vote that way? Fill me in. I don't know what they mean by fair. It's a weird idea, Junpei. They decided it wasn't fair to simply ask everyone at once. That would allow people to force others to go through certain doors. To be fair, you know, I was just dissing it, but Lotus did hard, like, manipulate Clover to come in with us. <laughs> that was like, yeah, okay. And Ace kind of got screwed over too, so. And he had a plan. It wasn't a plan he wanted anyone catching wind of, however, so he did his best to act calm and begin to open and read the pieces of paper. Interesting. I wonder if he's trying to rig it somehow for him and June. <laughs> Let's see what people got. <laughs> one for one. I mean, I would, but whatever. He opened the second one. Hmm. Oh, so for Ace, he needs nine. Which is kind of hard to make now that Santa doesn't. Unless me and Clover go with them. Santa wants six, so he needs 16, or 15, so he needs 12. Junpei continued with the third, fourth, and fifth piece of paper. Hmm. Lotus wants two? I thought she wanted to be team one with me and June. We got Snake. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> no bully. I don't know why. It, it, it's weird. I don't agree with this voting system. Half-naked reason, man. The disrespect on Lotus. She's looking so good, though. <laughs> that was a good line. I like the effort. Whoa. Real brawling. Lotus's hair fled out like the mane of an angry lion, and she roared with a voice that shook the walls. <laughs> oh, don't do it, Ace. She's going full force. Jesus Christ. With some difficulty, Ace managed to restrain her. <laughs> Junpei tore his eye away and looked down at the sixth piece of paper. He opened it. The Santa Gross. Remember that time Santa and June were alone for like a split second when we were going to the door? It's a sign. All of the papers save Junpei's had been read. He did some quick calculations in his head. Hit me with it. Hmm. 
This door is on the A deck near the central staircase. This was on the bottom that that could be reached by taking the elevator to the bottom of the ship. That's a sketch one, dude. This was the door on the E deck and couldn't be reached and could be reached by taking the elevator down the central staircase. Uh, does it always work? No, right? Ace Clover. No, we're gonna have to switch it up later because two people can't go. Because there's only seven people, so we can only do two doors. Oh. So Ace and Clover. Well, that doesn't matter. I mean, should we be calculating? It's like, what do I want? I feel like bottom and E deck are the most important still. It took him less than a second to run the numbers. He opened the seventh piece of paper and spoke. Fuck off. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Stick with June to the end. I am really feeling the June and Santa comp team for some reason. It's a little rough. Is this a June playthrough? Mm -hmm. Six is the spicy one because we got seven and Lotus. Can we pull out our cow key? I just, I need to see this on a uh, paper. So this is just, yeah, 10, okay. Wait, what? Oh, we can't go through the first one because we have 10. Okay, what was the second one? June Santa for two? So that doesn't work. And... Seven plus... Fifteen plus five is twenty. That makes two. <laughs> A little... So we can go one or two. I think we ditched June. Wait, no, she wants to go through two. I don't know what I want. Bottom actually sounds the most interesting because it's the basement. You know what? I'll roll with two. Are we bricked? Santa was unconvinced. I don't know. Honestly, even if we were, I just kind of just went with my gut feeling. かさま。俺たちの希望を聞いてからだ。扉の番号を変えたんじゃねえかって言ってんだ。そんなことできるわけないだろう。この紙に書いてあるんだから。見せてみよう。構わないぜ。ちんぺいしわでんハンデルトム
I got it jumbled up. It's okay, I like Lotus and I don't know about Seven, whatever. This is a squad. I'm like so sure Lotus is not part of uh, Zero's team, so I think we're safe. Even if Seven is one of them, it's 2v1. Yeah. Yeah, I was so. I even said this. Like, oh, wait, this makes us go to door two. Well, are we Brit? Flowchart? Flowchart? No! <laughs> no! We hit it! Oh no. I've doomed the playthrough. It's actually tragic. We're Brit. Unless we're safe. Maybe even if it's a short one, maybe we just escape and we just don't get a lot of answers. That'll be a that could be a plan. What if there's like the central computer down there and Lotus like hats it or something? There's still hope, guys. There's still hope. It's just so depressing. We hit it, dude. Ah. Oh well, it's okay. Hmm. Everyone was silent. Then suddenly Clover spoke, her face blank and cold. No, Clover. They let that one another. Three plus six equals ten. Yes, yes. Finally, Ace spoke. That had been what Seven said. That's true, but it feels like in this route that might not be the case. <laughs> There's no emotion on her face, but it was drawn and pale, and her eyes were red. No one had the heart to contradict her. The room grew very quiet. Silence drifted down over everything like a blanket of fresh snow. It was Santa who finally spoke. Hmm. So we don't get sits. Oh, that's awkward because sits was the other bottom floor one. Those were like the two I thought were most important. <sighs> Oh, I sh maybe I should have calculated trying to go through the two bottom doors. Oof. We bricked it. Oh, good luck. Good luck. Lotus, save us, please. Well, we've been with Lotus the entire game. We're ride and die, Team Lotus, I guess. So, let's go. And just like that, their paths were set. Yeah. I don't know. It's the rough dead end path. <laughs> he took strength from that thought. What's at the bottom, though? Let's find some good tech. They stepped off the elevator and headed for door number two. One by one, they put their palms onto their recognition device and three asterisks blint to life on its screen. 
First time with seven. Might be the last time, but what's up, buddy? Let's go. With the door open, and they left inside. You know what? We've made our choice. Now we just gotta try our best and be the puzzle master. Fortunately, it took them only moments to find the dead. It had been placed just inside the room right next to the numbered door. They gathered around it and quickly scanned each of their bracelets. Alright. First thing clear. Junpei could feel his heart pounding against the inside of his ribs. Seven and Lotus were breathing hard and fast. <laughs> あ、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、
Well, it looks like the rod comes out easily enough, but I don't think the rest is going anywhere. Toilet? It's a sun! A symbol on the toilet lid, huh? Seems a little fishy to me. It's a sun symbol, but it doesn't look like the ones on the doors. How about these screws? Or those are just suction cups? Damn, this toilet's pretty nasty to begin with, but the inside's even worse. Honestly, I'm amazed you can bring yourself to touch it. Huh. If there's way nastier stuff out there in the world than a gross toilet. You're a real deep thinker, aren't you? Probably the nastiest toilet I've ever seen, so I didn't think twice about touching it. There's enough tech here, I guess. What the heck is going on here? This weird ass... What is this? What the hell is this supposed to be? Like a drawing of a whirlpool or something? But if I had to guess, I'd say it's trying to look like water. There's a drawing in the mirror that looks like a spring. There's a little tile drain. Doesn't look like we're gonna be able to pull it out of there. Might have to use our heads on this one. All right, let's figure out this thing out. There's a tile stuck in the drain. There's no way we're gonna be able to pull it out. Huh? Looks like the water doesn't work. Doesn't matter how much seven turns that thing, no water is coming out. Has the water been shut off from somewhere else? So, all right. So we're probably done for now in here. Oh, new tech. The chair's pretty old. Seven sat on it. It'd probably break. Huh? You say something? Nothing at all. Hee hee hee. Don't tell him. There's some screws. This thing's really simple. Is it really a dust? Well, of course it's not gonna be simple. I mean, it's probably like that so we don't try and use it as part of the puzzle, right? You probably use a dust to write letters for your family or something else, but this is a boat. I bet the only thing they used for this was eating off of. Oh, there's screws here. It's a really simple dust. There's only one drawer in it. Huh? What the hell? It's not opening. There's something up with this drawer. I don't trust it. Yeah, can I? There we go. All the pieces of the puzzle. Sweet, got the screws off. Now we can open the drawer. You know what? Quit washing break. Washing break finished. Let's continue bit braining it. I was actually thinking like, which I, oh, oh yeah, I can. I was thinking, is it possible for uh, for them to be the two culprits? 17, 8. Yeah, but it doesn't lead to the locked door, so it doesn't matter. Okay, just just quit thought in, in the washroom. <laughs> Alright, uh, I think we're... Oh, wait, we need to open the... There's nothing in here. Well, maybe the drawer is what we needed. The drawer, huh? Alright, let's yank the thing out. Huh. That's drawer. <laughs> There's a bump on the back. I wonder what it's for. Maybe there's a hole somewhere, and these bumps in line with it trigger a hidden switch or something. Hey, we've seen weirder stuff. Doesn't seem that far-fetched. You know what I haven't thought about for a while? Remember in the beginning, they're like, oh, you can rotate the items, and sometimes there's hidden stuff you need to interact with. And we've, like, never done that since, like, the very first escape room. I'm surprised. <laughs> they never, like, really utilized that mechanic at all. I totally even forgot about it. So we have a drawer. I think we're done with this room for now. Fence 7. How are you doing, Lotus? What the hell? Somebody made some wavy blue lines on this mirror with blue paint. Is this a drawing of a blue scarf? No, maybe not. Oh, no thing. This drain is kind of a weird shape for a drain. You think they made it that shape for a reason or just for fun? So these scenes are the opposite side of the wall. No, it's just the scenes. Everything's op. It's not just the scenes. Everything's opposite like a mirror image. So that's normal if you're both using the same water pipe blends, right? It is, actually, but there's no knob on this faucet. There's no way we can get the water out like this. 
If we can find a knob or something that'll work as one, then we should let the water come out of this thing. Huh. There's some opposite rooms. It's just hanging from the wall. Well, if we're pushing the string, then it must be a toilet that flushes. There's a string hanging You pull it to flush the toilet. Yeah, pull it. It's a moon. A moon? What a filthy, disgusting moon. Yeah, it's pretty filthy, but it's a precious hint. Let's remember it, alright? Moon and sun. I refuse to touch this. I refuse. The best lotus face. <laughs> what the hell's wrong with you? I don't want to touch it, ever. You're touching it. It's a very, very old toilet. Apparently, Lotus refuses to touch it ever. <laughs> this paper seems to be pretty old. Ew, how the hell can you touch that? It's it's horrible. Well, it's not like I've really got a choice, do I? It's not like I want to. <laughs> Half-used toilet paper? Well, it's old and kind of grossing me out, but there's nothing suspicious about it. Hmm. How are we doing on the... Yo, what the hell is that? It's a towel. Well, it's like a towel. I have to wonder if the design means anything, though. Yeah, this is the Seven's room and this is Lotus's room. Maybe you should consider the design might be. Perhaps that'll give us a hint. Like, what is that supposed to be, though? A sperm cell? <laughs> Could be. It should also be like a, a portal. Huh. Well, we have that. This bed looks even sadder without the pillow, so it's still a terrible bed. I never sleep on a bed like that. Bed looks cold, pretty sure you'd freeze to death in the winter. No kidding, if I tried to sleep here, my skin would dry out in no time. Well, it's not like you're that young anymore. <laughs> that shouldn't really matter. Why am I, Junpei? Aren't you lucky? It seems you'll die before you have a chance to roll it in hideous. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you're right. Dry skin is a woman's worst enemy. So, so, a man's worst enemy. Dry skin is horrible. Yo, look at that sink tap. <laughs> it looks like this looks like a chair for prisoners. It's rusty, but I don't think it's gonna be a lot of help. What is that pose? <laughs> is that a new pose? Isn't that obvious? Look, I don't want to touch anything unless I have to. Lotus is not having any of this. Does she really not want to be in this room though, bad? You didn't you didn't leave? I'm good for searching everything. I am the puzzle master. What's this desk looking like? This is a very simple desk. It looks like it was made from leftover scrap wood. It's a simple straightforward desk. The handle doesn't really belong there. There's nothing in the drawer. Yeah. Why is she happy? <laughs> Something's not right though. The handle in this drawer doesn't really fit, you know? It's just that it's messy. Why don't you take it out? Center room drawer. So there's a mirror on the other side of this drawer. Interesting. It's kind of an odd shape. It looks like someone attached the handle with a screw after the fat. Oh, there is a mirror on the bottom side. That wasn't there. Yeah. Can we combine this with the screwdriver? If I use the screwdriver on the screw on the center of the handle, maybe I can. Boom, the knob. Well, that came off easily enough. It looks like a faucet handle. Yeah, it seems a little weird to put it on a wooden drawer like this. I'm sure they made it look out on purpose with a shape like that. there would only be one place it can go. To yo sink. I didn't mean... Get me out of here. Back to Lotus. Onto the sink. Put it on. Sweet, the handle I got off. That drawer fits into the onto the faucet perfectly. Now I can turn the water on. Hey, it actually works. Junpei, what are you doing? It's pretty obvious, isn't it? I'm running the water. I didn't see that. I'm asking you why you're just letting it run like that. Think about it, Lotus. This faucet didn't have a knob when we found it, right? What do you mean? Just watch. I need time now. Hey, water's filling up. Doesn't that just mean the pipes are clogged? Whoops, let's turn it off for now. 
So did anything change? The water stopped flowing. Thank you, Mr. Obvious. Uh, Jim Pam, leaving this one to you, all right. Got some water tech. Sint is totally filled with water. Huh. Can we... We don't have our item hop bar on us, so we can't really, like, use any items. Oh, well, now we can. But you don't want to fill the sink with water. I was, I was kind of thinking that might be it. Well, for now, we'll leave that. Let's check out the other rooms. Ooh. Little sun in this room. The mirror seems really high. In fact, it's so high that it's kind of hard to see a reflection in it. Why is it so high? It's a scene, but there's no light shining on it. It's hard to be sure because it's so dark in here, but I don't think there's anything to go with with this sink. The faucet is too hard to turn. Huh. That looks barely enough to see by. I feel like I'm gonna see a ghost in here or something. It's a blanket, not really a great one, but still... No tech, huh? What's happening here? I can just barely make out the stream for the toilet, but I can get a hold of it. Damn it, it kind of pisses me off that I can't see, but I can't touch it. Toilet paper, it's still white enough for me to know what it is, even in the dark. There's nothing out of the ordinary about it. 14 equals E. What is this? 14 equals E? It probably means 14 somewhere represents an E, but I don't know what 14 would be. It's like a dirty toilet, but it's too dark to tell. Could be a clean toilet. I can just barely see a mirror from the light coming through the ceiling. Sure, it'd be nice if that mirror was a little lower down. Looks like it's the same height as the mirror on the right. I wonder if that means anything. I actually don't know. I don't know the tech. Okay. Got the same stuff here. Simple chair where the light doesn't shine. This desk is old and rusty. Arr! God damn it, no matter how hard I pull on this damn thing, it won't budge. Guess I won't be opening this anytime soon. It doesn't look like it's got a keyhole and there doesn't seem to be anything stopping it. How the hell am I supposed to open it? I don't know. Also, our screwdriver is permanently gone. Huh. Okay, well. Hmm, there's a door in the back. I wonder where it goes. I thought of that. I tried a couple of things, but yeah, same result. Guess 7 wasn't about to do anything. Oh, well. Emergency. E equals 14. There are a bunch of tiles on the door that spell out emergence. Oh. Emergence, maybe it, it means we need to emerge out of here. <laughs> yeah. Emergence. Do we need to do something with these tiles to open the door? So I can't interact with that at all. So we need to solve this puzzle here, huh? I'm supposed to do this. This bed is really dirty. Apparently not. Hey! All the water came from the other side. Nice. So we've got this tile, and it's got these red, blue, and gray lines. What the heck does this stuff mean? Hell if I know. Um, I do not know. <laughs> okay, tile tech. Mist. Oh, Junpei put the wet towel in his, into his pocket. He was about to turn away when there was a noise behind him. His memory coming back. He spun around to see Seven kneeling on the floor. His face was rigid and pale. Droplets of sweat covered his forehead. What's up? 
He was concerned he'd never seen Seven like this before. Slowly, the other man lifted himself to this, his feet on shaky legs. You alright? <laughs> Jesus. Thought he was like gonna turn all sleeper agent on us. His face was pale and his breathing was heavy. Sweat was pouring off his face and staining his shirt. Seven didn't answer. Half of his face was twisted as if distorted by extreme pain, and his eyes were glazed. Finally, he spoke. His words made no sense. Means on the ship in general. He shook his head several times as if he was trying to clear something from it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, that's weird. So he wasn't kidnapped here, unless he played like a game before. Oh, or was he a worker on this ship? Huh, suddenly Seven was mumbling to himself. They were words Junpei didn't understand. Seven's hoarse voice trailed off and Junpei couldn't make out what he said. Seven's brow furrowed furiously and he grounded his teeth back and forth. Hmm. Seven stopped frustrated. He put out his hat off and ran a hand through his hair. Then suddenly he looked up his eyes wide. Whoa, well, we kind of know that from the laboratory. And it is a medical ship. I guess, oh, wouldn't that be funny? What if Lotus was a, was like an experimenter? Like, like a person working on the ship? Dude, is that how we connect everything? Does that, is something has to connect people together. So what if like Lotus was a researcher in the ship? Seven was a person being experimented on. Um, you know, Snake could have bought the ship. Um, I don't know about whatever else, but you know, food for thought. <laughs> Oh god. Junpei didn't know what to make of Seven's story, instead he simply stared at Seven as Seven continued. Hmm. Seven began to mumble to himself and wander aimlessly about the room. He looked confused. So far as Junpei could tell, the man was simply rambling, and there were odd twitches in his movement to his movement. Cradle Pharmaceuticals. He was a police officer. I thought East would have been the police officer. Seven continued to mumble to himself about things that meant nothing to Junpei. So, Seven was just investigating, maybe. Junpei didn't have any answers for him, of course. He couldn't understand what was happening to Seven. All he could do was wait. After a few min minutes, Seven finally stopped. Tuck? New tuck? He crouched down and looked under the bed. His face registered, mild surprise, and he began to mumble to himself again. 
Do what I was saying, I want to look under the bed. They wouldn't let me. Hmm. At last, Junpei could contain himself no longer. Seven stood up slowly. This is interesting though. Junpei could feel it. Whatever Seven had remembered, it was very... It was important, very important. Seven drew a large muscle hand down across his face. As he wiped the sweat from his brow, he spoke. Mm. He doesn't really look like a cop, though. But could just be the outfit. <laughs> Nine years ago? Coincidence? あの頃俺は中学1年生。詳しいことはよくわからないが、外洋クライナー。確か。設置員の。捜査を進めていく間にクレイドル製薬って名前の製薬会社が事件に関与してることを突き止めてな。その会社の内部の人間から情報を引き出すことに成功したんだ。そいつは ウエトムカタ。ジーザス。エスジジ、ドゥード。完璧に一層の不審船が横付けされているのだ。その戦場と周囲に白ほらと人影が見えてな。どうやら黒いスーツに身を包んだ男たちが大きな袋に詰め込
独房にぶち込んでおいて鍵をかけないわけがない。何度か体当たりも食らわしてみたが、無駄だった。だよな。俺は一人つぶやいて、その場にどさっと腰を下ろした。それからどれぐらいの時間が経ったか俺の耳にふとかすかな声が届いたうん、そういうことは、たぶん、たぶん、たぶん、たぶん、たぶん、たぶん、たぶん、たぶん、たぶん、たぶん、たぶん、たぶん、たぶん、たぶん、たぶん、たぶん、たぶん、たぶん、たぶん、たぶん、たぶん、たぶん、たぶん、たぶん、たぶん、たぶん、たぶん、たぶん、たぶん、たぶん、俺の鼓膜を震わせていた変成期を迎える前の甲高い声ケイン声は一つじゃ傘複数でよし五人か六人かいやもっとかどこだどこから聞こえてくる俺はキョロキョロとあたりを見回し壁に耳をつけてみた。違う、こっちじゃねえ。左か。左のベッドの下が。俺は。鋼鉄のフレームをがっしり掴むと。力任せにベッドをひっくり返した。見つけた。す。ベッドが置かれていた壁の下の方に、カナミナミナミナミナミナミナミナミナミナミナミナミナミナミナミナミナミナミナミナミナミナミナミナミナミナミナミナミナミナミナミナミナミナミナミナミナミナミナミナミナミナミナミナミナミナミナミナミナミナミナミナミナミナミナミナミナミナ X ストーカーのフネガネ。さっさと、ボイスウィナー。さっさと、ボイスウィナー。さっさと、ボイスウィナー。さっさと、ボイスウィナー。さっさと、ボイスウィナー。さっさと、ボイスウィナー。さっさと、ボイスウィナー。さっさと、ボイスウィナー。さっさと、ボイスウィナー。さっさと、ボイスウィナー。さっさと、ボイスウィナー。指をかぎ爪のように折り曲げて網の目をがっしりと掴んだそしてうううううううううううううううううううううううううう額に吹き出した汗を拭って、早速その奥へと潜り込んでいった。What do you see? You don't remember? God damn it! Jumpy waited for Seven to resume his story. The longer he waited, however, the clearer it became that Seven had no intention of doing so. He had gone silent and simply stared off into the air. His eyes blinked. He had waited long enough, but Seven shook his head. So that. ここにいた子供たちはどうなったんだよセブンが助け出したのかかもしれないしそうじゃないかもしれねえなんとなくなんとなくだが一人亡くなっちまったような気がする、oh. 女の子が Deep in his heart, Junpei felt something very cold Seven's head dropped and Junpei saw it 
saw on it a look of sadness, like the lights which she had never seen on the man before. The large man's eyes blinked rapidly, as if he were fighting bad tears, and he swallowed hard. His sigh was like a melancholy setting of an old abandoned building. He shook his head and spoke. Good enough for this session. You know, keep thinking about it though. After that, Junpei could hardly try to force any answers out of the other man. Junpei left Seven to pull himself together and instead to begin thinking everything over. Kind of fits with the lab, huh? The weird dummy thing. Is it possible those connect with the numbers too? I'm not sure. I can't. Uh, I don't. I can't tell. Doesn't Aoi mean like one or something closer? I don't know. I'm. I'd be making that up. Before long, Junpei realized he had spent quite some time deep in thought. It's the children reve revenge. They escaped and one of the children has planned this uh, as a revenge against some of the people involved. And you know, that would kind of make sense with either June or Santa since, uh, I don't know, they looked similar age to Junpei, just saying. But how would Junpei be involved is interesting. So, Junpei shook his head quickly to clear it and returned to his investigation, thoughts swirling in his mind. You know what? That seems like a pretty good time to wrap it up. Yeah. I always choose files. It's a wrong option. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I know we hit the the awkward route, but I, I'm enjoying it. We got some seven bad story, painting a picture. I'm liking what I'm seeing. But next time we will continue our escape from this place and hopefully get it. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching as always and see you next time. Goodbye.